Magandang araw mga ka-aerial defense may ibabahagi na naman ako sa inyo dahil ngayong araw na ito ay may bagay tayong pag-uusapan, top defense officials ng Amerika at Pilipinas nag-usap dahil sa pagsalakay ng China, pero bago tayo magpatuloy huwag mo muna kalimutan mag-like, share, and subscribe, paki-follow at like muna ng aming page na nasa description na ang link. Nagpulong ang mga top diplomats at defense, and security officials ng Pilipinas at Estados Unidos sa ginanap na 3 plus 3 meeting nito sa U.S. State Department, kabilang sa mga pangunahing tinalakay ng naturang mga matataas na opisyal ay ang usapin sa mas tumitindi pang tensyon sa West Philippine Sea dunot ng mga agresibong aksyon ng China. Well, good morning everyone. Uh, Secretary Manalo, uh, Secretary Teodoro, uh, Advisor Anyo, wonderful to welcome you here to the State Department. Uh, today's meeting follows the meeting between our presidents yesterday and the historic uh, trilateral meeting with uh, President Marcos, uh, Prime Minister Kishida, and President Biden. And I think uh, today's meeting, uh, an unprecedented three plus three, reflects the growing and deepening cooperation between our countries on a broad array of issues. And of course, our shared commitment uh, to a free and open Indo-Pacific, uh, including in the South China Seas. Uh, we very much welcome this opportunity to uh, pursue that cooperation, collaboration, and of course we stand with the Philippines uh, in our ironclad defense commitments, including the Mutual Defense Treaty. Uh, Ricky, with that, let me welcome you and give you the microphone. Thank you very much, Tony. Good morning, uh, Secretary Blinken, Secretary Austin, National Security Advisor. Jake Sullivan, great pleasure to be here with my colleagues. Uh, as you mentioned, uh, in a way, today's meeting of the 3 plus 3 is also a historic meeting, as it follows on the heels of the even more historic trilateral summit yesterday. Uh, I just wanted to, to mention that uh, we attach a lot of importance to this meeting, especially in the light of uh, recent developments in the South China Sea, especially uh, the China's escalation uh, of its harassment resulting most recently in the injury of four Filipino seamen. But uh, more importantly is we, we are determined to uh, assert our sovereign rights, especially within our economic, uh, exclusive economic zone uh, and in accordance with the uh, UNCLOS and the arbitral ruling. Uh, I think our meeting today will enable us to uh, hopefully uh, be in a better position to coordinate our responses, both diplomatic uh, and on the defense and security fronts uh, in relation to any uh, actions uh, the South China Sea, whether they're positive or negative, uh, including in the Yuan Shoal. So we uh, also hope that uh, this 3 plus 3 meeting will uh, be a regular event and also um, reinforce our regular uh, bilateral strategic dialogue as well as our ongoing maritime dialogue. And finally, we, we do underscore the need to continue um, uh, further clarificatory discussions on the MDT, as we think this would also help in uh, deterring further escalation by uh, China. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Tony. Uh, good morning, and it's great to be here with everyone. It's a, this is a historic meeting. It's the first time that all six of us have gathered to discuss the diplomatic and defense priorities at the heart of our alliance. Under the leadership of President Biden and President Marcos, our alliance is stronger than ever. And today we'll discuss a whole of government vision for this alliance. We all know that our shared security relies on strong military bonds, shared economic opportunities, and robust people-to-people -people ties. And at the Department of Defense, we're working in lockstep with our colleagues at the Department of National Defense to strengthen interoperability between our forces, to expand our operational coordination, and to stand up to, coer to coercion in the South China Sea. And our commitment, as the uh, Secretary of State said just a couple of seconds ago, our commitment to our mutual defense treaty with the Philippines remains ironclad. And later today, I'll be hosting President Marcos at the Pentagon, and I'll share with you what I'm going to uh, sh tell him. And that is that the United States and the Philippines are more than allies, we're family. And thanks again, and I look forward to a great discussion. Thank you very much. Mr. Secretary. Thank you, uh, Secretary Blinken and Secretary Austin. 
uh, our honorable counterparts and colleagues. Following up from what uh, Secretary Austin had already said, it's indeed an honor to represent the Department of National Defense of the Philippines in this historic uh, meeting today. And it will be an opportunity to have a fresh, open, and candid discussion of our department's objectives in line of the broader strategy of a free and open Indo-Pacific, uh, because this is the area where our interests converge. And in doing so, we hope that the family becomes a stronger family with bonds of a shared vision, not only for today, but for the future generations. Thank you very much. Well, I want to thank my Philippines counterparts for being here. I want to say I'm honored to be at this unprecedented 3 plus 3 meeting. And our presidents, each of our presidents, tasked us to work across our governments and then to work across this alliance to make sure that we not only reaffirm the alliance between the US and the Philippines, but we put the alliance commitments at the heart of it into practice, that we operationalize it, that we execute it, and that we do so entirely in lockstep. So I look forward to the discussion today. Secretary Blinken, Secretary Austin, NSA Sullivan. First, allow me to thank the United States government for hosting the historic inaugural Trilateral Leaders Summit yesterday. I'm honored for the opportunity to be part of the whole process that began during the inaugural Trilateral National Secret Advisors meeting in Tokyo last June. Seizing this momentum, we are now here for another milestone, the first bilateral 3 plus 3 ministers meeting. So thank you also for hosting this occasion, and I look forward to our insightful and fruitful discussions. This will further concretize our deepening security partnership and enduring alliance grounded on shared democratic values and aspirations of our peoples with activities carefully curated to achieve our collective, collective goals. Thank you and magandang umaga. Sa kanyang opening remarks ay inihayag ni Foreign Affairs Secretary Enrique Manalo na ang kanilang naging pagpupulong ay makakatulong para sa mas maganda at maayos na pagtugon pagdating sa diplomatiko at defense and security fronts pagdating sa mga pangharas ng China sa West Philippine Sea, kasabay nito ay nagpahayag din ng pag-asa si Manalo na ang pagpupulong na ito ay magiging regular at mas magpapaigting pa sa bilateral strategic dialogue, gayon din ang pagsasagawa ng maritime dialogue, kasabay nito ay binigyang diin din ng opisyal ang kahalagahan ng mas pagpapatibay pa sa clarificatory discussions ng mutual defense treaty, samantala, Sa panig naman ng U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken sinabi nito na ang naturang pagpupulong ay mas nagpapalalim pa sa cooperation sa pagitan ng Pilipinas at Estados Unidos, na kapwa may shared commitment sa isang malaya at bukas na Indo-Pacific region kabilang na ang West Philippine Sea. Para sa mas madaming update tungkol sa ating defense abangan lamang ang aking mga bagong video, para naman sa mga gusto magpa-shoutout mag-comment lamang po at share, paki-follow at like muna ng aming page na nasa description na ang link, huwag mo na rin kalimutan mag-like, share, and subscribe, pindutin mo na rin ang bell para updated kayo sa aking mga video. Maraming salamat po.